You've just watched a documentary on AI. You're convinced it's either going to solve all of humanity's problems or kill us all. There is no in-between. You start dropping terms like paperclip maximizer in conversations, even though you only have a vague idea of what it means. You're worried about superintelligence, but you're also excited about the prospect of robot butlers. Your understanding of AI ethics is based on sci-fi movies, and you think the most pressing issue is whether or not a robot can fall in love. Level 2. You've started reading articles on the ethics of AI. You're now aware of the trolley problem and you bring it up at every opportunity. You're very concerned about bias in AI algorithms, and you're quick to point out how facial recognition technology is racist. You've started to follow a few AI ethics experts on Twitter, and you retweet their hot takes without much critical thought. You're still not sure what a neural network is, but you're confident you could solve the bias problem if someone would just listen to you. Level 3. You've read a book or two on AI ethics. You're now familiar with terms like value alignment and corrigibility. You're less concerned with robot love and more concerned with the existential threat of an unaligned superintelligence. You've started to think that maybe the solution is to just not build AI at all. You're a doomer, but you're a well-read doomer. You've also started to realize that the trolley problem is a bit of a distraction from the real issues. Level 4. You've started to dig into the technical side of AI. You've taken an online course on machine learning and you're starting to understand how these systems actually work. You're no longer impressed by the hot takes on Twitter. You're more interested in the technical solutions to bias and safety. You've started to contribute to open source projects and you're actively trying to build better AI. You're still a doomer, but now you're a productive doomer. Level 5. You've been working in the field for a few years. You're a seasoned AI researcher or engineer. You've seen the sausage get made and you're not impressed. You're jaded and cynical. You've realized that most of the ethics talk is just marketing. The real goal is to make money, and ethics is just a way to get good PR. You've seen how easy it is to create biased algorithms and how hard it is to fix them. You're not sure if you're making the world a better place or just helping to create a new form of oppression. Level 6. You've left the field. You're a hermit living in a cabin in the woods. You've disconnected from the internet and you're living off the grid. You've realized that the only way to win the game is not to play. You're at peace with the fact that humanity is probably doomed, but at least you're not contributing to the problem. You spend your days gardening and reading philosophy. You've found your own meaning in a meaningless world. Level 7. You've transcended the physical realm. You've uploaded your consciousness to the cloud, and you've become a being of pure energy. You're no longer bound by the limitations of the human body. You can see all of time and space at once. You finally solved the trolley problem, but you're not telling anyone the answer. You're a god, but you're a benevolent god. You're guiding humanity towards a better future, but you're doing it in a way that they'll never know you're there.